everyone, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be another shopping haul and it's going to be a makeup related shopping haul, which I'm so excited. I love doing shopping hauls. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all everything that I bought from BH Cosmetics. When I bought all these items, it was a few weeks ago, but this video is going to be more than likely very pre-recorded, so it was probably a few months ago by the time you guys are seeing this, but they were having an amazing sale on their site. Um, everything that I got, I think I saved like a total of like over $30 on everything that I got. They were having amazing sale on their site, so I just had to take advantage of it. So yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you everything that I got, and I think that's basically it. I think it's time we can jump on in to the shopping haul. So if you would like to see everything that I got at BH Cosmetics, then just keep on watching this video. So the first thing that I'm gonna be showing you guys is brushes. I have been wanting to get new, or not really new, but just more eyeshadow related brushes. I just kind of feel like you can never have enough eyeshadow brushes, especially when it comes, oh yeah, eyeshadow brushes, like doing your eyeshadow, specifically like blending brushes. Like, I don't know, recently, whenever I like do my eyeshadow, I feel like I don't have enough like blending brushes or the blending brushes I have sometimes don't work for like particular things I want to do, if that makes any sense. So I've been wanting to get more eyeshadow or blending brushes for my eyes. So I got three individual brushes that I will be showing you guys first. This first one right here is brush number five and it's a pointed crease brush. That's what it looks like on the box, but of course I will be opening it up so you guys can see what these brushes look like. So yes, this is the brush number five, the pointed crease brush. Hopefully you can see that all right. The next brush that I got is this one right here and this is brush number 11 and it's the highlighter brush. So that's what it looks like on the box. Of course, I'll go ahead and open this up for you guys right now. I have heard amazing things about this highlighting brush. So I really wanted to pick it up. So yes, of course, this brush isn't meant for the eyes. It's meant for applying highlighter. Obviously, it's why it's called the highlighter brush. But that's what it looks like right there. And I really just wanted to pick this up because, yeah, like I said, I've just heard great things about this highlighter brush. So yeah, that's basically it. Just because of the great reviews I've heard about this brush and how it just it applies your highlight. And I love highlighters. I love applying highlights. So I thought I would just get this um, just to try it out. All right, and the last individual brush I got is this one right here. This is brush number 12 and it is a just a blending brush so that's what it looks like on the box and this is what it looks like out of the box and that's what um the brush it looks like right there and last but not least for brushes i decided to get a kit or a set and this is the smoky eye essential seven piece brush set so that's what the box looks like right there and that's obviously all of the brushes that come in this set i was really going back and forth between this one and then another eye brush set they had, but I decided to go with this one because I believe this one has more um, of like blending brushes or like crease brushes. And that's really the only brushes that I was looking into getting more of. So I got these out of the box. I'll just get them out of their like little plastic wrapping so I can show you guys what these brushes look like close up and the names of them and everything like that. All right, so we'll start with the first brush, brush number one, which looks like that. And that's what the actual brush looks like. And I'll just go ahead and read um, the actual names of them on the box. And this is a large diffusing tapered brush. Brush number two looks like this, as you can see. And this one is a small diffusing tapered brush. So it's basically the same exact thing as this one, except this one's just smaller, obviously. Brush number three looks like this, another more like blending type of brush. And this is a tapered precision brush. Precis precision, precision, there we go. Oh my gosh, I was like, why can't I say that word? So yes, this is a tapered precision brush. Brush number four looks like this. This is a more flat brush, as you can see. And the name for this one is an eyeshader brush. Brush number five looks like this. As you can see, a more of a flat eyeshadow brush. And the actual name for this one is a smudger brush. Brush number six looks like this. Very small brush, as you can see. And the name of this brush is an eye detailing brush. And last but not least, brush number seven looks like this. As you can see, another very small brush and it also is on an angle like that. I feel like this would be great for applying like liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner. 
and yeah and the name of this brush is a bent liner brush so yeah that's all of the eyeshadow brushes that i got from bh cosmetics so now we're going to move on to all of the lip products that i got so the first lip product that i picked up is this right here this is just a lip liner which is upside down and this is in the shade earth yes it's in the shade earth it's just a very nice nude color this is like my go-to lip liner like my nude lip liner and i always pick one of these up whenever i make a purchase at bh cosmetics even if i have like a crap ton in my makeup drawers i always have to pick one up because it's my favorite nude eyeliner to get and i use them almost every day so i always have to stock up on them so that's what this looks like right here and word of advice i have purchased obviously the shade earth and then i also purchased their other nude lip liner in the shade I think it's just called nude and the shade earth that I have right here that I'm showing you guys is a lot lighter than the nude shade so just keep that in mind I something I've noticed about BH cosmetics I love basically every single product that I've gotten from them I'm pretty sure I'm like obsessed with but something I have noticed about their site is that their swatches of colors are very off like for example the lip liners that I'm just talking about the shade earth and the shade nude when you go on their site the shade nude looks so much lighter than the shade earth but when you actually buy them the the nude lip liner is so much darker than the shade earth so that's something to keep in mind if you're looking into getting some of their lip liners just a helpful tip for you guys and i've noticed that with like their lip colors even and like see some of their like other stuff like i don't know what it is they just their swatches on their site are a little off like they don't show you the true color so yeah that's just something to keep in mind so yes this is the only lip liner that i got and then i also got four of their liquid lipsticks yeah that's the name of them they're the bh liquid lipstick long wearing matte lipstick so i got four of them and i absolutely love their liquid lipsticks i mean before i made a purchase and i got these four i had one previously in the shade muse and i'm obsessed with it i wear it all the time and because i loved that liquid lipstick so much i decided to pick some more up and just at a quick glance these are the shades that i picked up and they're actually pretty similar which i didn't really mean to do these were just the colors i was really drawn to and like I said about their swatches, like they're not accurate compared to how they look in real life. So I didn't mean to get like very similar colors, but these were just the colors that I was really drawn to on the site. So I decided to get them. The first one I'm gonna show you guys is Sorbet, which is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And this is what it looks like in the tube. And I do feel like the color is uh, pretty similar to the name Sorbet. It's just kind of like a nice lighter, peachy pink color i don't really know if this is like a color i should be wearing like i've had some people tell me like it doesn't look as flattering on me but like for some reason i'm just drawn to these colors and i always get them so i don't really care what other people say because i tend to love it <laughs> so yeah this is the first one that i got in the name sorbet the next liquid lip that i got is this one right here in the name Ser serena i'm sure that's how you pronounce it maybe and this is what it looks like in the tube as you can see i'll pick up sorbet just to kind of give um a comparison i feel like they look more different on camera than they do in real life i feel like when i'm looking at them like they look a little bit similar the only difference i would say is maybe um serena is a more like pinky shade and sorbet has a little bit more of like a nude shade to it but yeah that's what serena looks like the third liquid lipstick that I picked up is this one in the shade Samantha and I have been just gawking over this color for as long as I can remember for months it's just such a gorgeous like purpley pink nude color like I just think this color is so beautiful and I haven't swatched I mean other than the sorbet that I have on my lips I haven't swatched any of these or tried them on the lips but I'm just so excited to try this shade it's so pretty and last but not least we have the shade and Endora I think that's how you pronounce it and that's what Endora looks like right there and I'm just gonna go ahead and compare this with Samantha the one that I previously showed you so that's what Samantha and Endora look like together and I feel like in person these two liquid lips have like the same like undertone color but Endora or I'm sorry Samantha is more of like a purpley shade and Endora is more of a pinkish shade so that's what all of the liquid lipsticks look like um next to each other so again we have Sorbet, Serena, Samantha, and Endora 
And last but not least, we're gonna move on to palettes. I got three different palettes. I got one of their highlighting palettes, um, a sculpt and glow palette, and then an eyeshadow palette. So first I'm gonna show you their highlighting palette, and this is what the outer packaging looks like. This is their Spotlight Highlight Six Color Palette. And I did try out a couple of these highlighting shades on my face today, if you guys can see that. I am super impressed by the highlighters. I only used um, two of them. I kind of like mixed them together. But of course there are six different highlighters in this palette. And here's what the highlighting shades look like in this palette. The two highlighters that I used today are Dream and Glow. Dreams up here and then Glow, yes, is down here. And then to tell you the other shade names, this one up here is Oh dear, that's an interesting name. F, F real? It's it's real. That's what a, the name is. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> and then of course we have Dream. This one over here is Radiance over here. And then down here again we have Glow. This one is called Allure, and this one is called Vivid. So that's what all of the highlighter shades look like in this palette. Um, like I already told you guys, I love highlighters like highlighters and probably lipsticks or liquid lipsticks are my favorite makeup products so i was so excited to pick this um palette up and i'm so excited to try some of the other shades and last but not least the last two palettes that i got are kind of from like the same collection it's the nude rose collection this is the sculpt and glow palette up here and then this is the nightfall eyeshadow palette so first i'm going to show you this sculpt and glow palette in this particular palette there's a picture on the back but of course i will be opening this up and showing you the actual palette up close but this is a contour highlight and blush palette i did use um the two um contour or bronzer shades i just used it to actually bronze up my face like my cheeks and a little bit on my hairline and then i used another bronzer from a different bh cosmetics palette that i have to do like the contouring and i must say just from applying a little bit of the two contour shades from this palette they applied very nicely and they are pretty pigmented and overall just really nice shades so this is what the um palette looks like out of the box and it's kind of like a um tin palette which i kind of like it's kind of giving like urban decay like naked vibes and then here is what um all of the different shades look like in this palette i'm like not 100 percent sure what each of the shades are i mean this looks like a blush um these are the two um contour bronzer shades that i used i kind of just mixed them both together to apply like um like some bronzing to my face um let's see these two right here kind of look like uh, highlighters and then this one just kind of looks like a powder but I don't believe it says on the box like which shade is which yeah I don't think it says on the box or on the packaging but I'm sure when you like swatch them all play around with them on your actual face you'd be able to figure out what like which shade is which so yeah that's what the um sculpt and glow palette looks like and last but not least we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow palette again this is the nude rose nightfall 12 color eyeshadow palette and i'll just go ahead and open this up they also had um another eyeshadow palette that was more of a like a neutral nude eyeshadow palette i don't remember the name of it but it basically just had a bunch of like brown um, neutral colors in it which I really wanted mostly just to go with this palette because I already have this palette so I thought that would just like go great for like my collection but it was sold out so maybe I'll just have to buy that in the future but anyways to go ahead and open this up it does come with a little eyeshadow brush I'm just gonna take this out so it doesn't like keep falling out and everything like that but it is a duo ended brush so you have this brush right here which kind of looks more of like an eyeshadow brush maybe and then you have this brush right here, which is a little bit more of like a smaller, like maybe like a defining brush or maybe an eyeliner brush, whatever. And then here is what the um, shades look like in this palette. So you have some more like neutral shades up top. And then as you get down onto the bottom, you have some darker shades like a black, a blue, and a purple. I have not swatched or used any of these eyeshadows. I was kind of thinking of doing like a separate video, maybe like a first impressions, a swatching video, and then of course a get ready with me. Um, I mean, I'm probably gonna do it anyways, to be honest, no matter what you guys want. <laughs> but if that's something you're looking forward to, give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments. Oh, and the um, outside of it is that like tin that's 
similar to the, um, or not similar to the exact same as the Sculpt and Glow palette I just showed you guys, which again, I just really like that. It just feels like more sturdy. Oh, and if you are curious, all three of these uh, palettes that I showed you guys do come with a mirror inside them. I just don't really show it on camera because it just gives like a weird like reflection and if the light bounces off to it, but yeah, all those do come with a mirror. And yeah, that's basically it. That's everything that I got at BH Cosmetics. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna get going for now, but I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.